Assalamu alaikum, I am Maria Niamat from B.A. Zoology 3rd semester and I am here to present a topic that is on plant hormones. Contents are the plant hormones, their responses and the movements involved according to that hormones. What are hormones? Chemicals produced by the plants that regulate growth processes. Five important hormones that are involved in the growth and movement of the plants are auxin, cytokinin, gibberellin, ethylene gas and abascus acid. These are the five important, there are many other but these are the most important five that are involved in the plant's growth. Auxin. Auxin regulating the cell elongation synthesized at the stem tips and help in phototropism. Phototropism is a process in which the plants move away or towards the stimulus of light. Auxin allow plants to bend towards the light. This is phototropism. It is synthesized at the stem tips and then it travels down, downward to the roots. More auxin produce more roots formation. If the uh, it is produced at the stem tips, so if the is if we remove the stem tip, plant loses ability to grow towards the light. The second one is cytokinine. It is antagonistic to auxin, means it work opposite to that of the auxin produced in the roots and is carried up through the water through the xylem to upward. More cytokinine, more shoot formation. It also work. It also works with the other hormones like ethylene with the ethylene to cause shedding of the leaves and fru fruits etc. Increased cytokinin will help thicker the stems. The third one is gibberellin. The most important function of this hormone is that it is involved in the germination and elongation of internodes. Internodes are the stem between the nodes and where the leaves grow. Their dramatic action is making genetically dwarf plant to grow to normal size. Gibberellin, the most important function that, uh, that it is involved in the germination. The fourth one is ethylene gas. A simple gas that is made in small quantities by many plant tissues. It serves as a powerful natural regulator of growth development. It also promotes the ripening of fruits. Actually, the most important function of ethylene gas is the ripening of fruits. If you put an unripened banana with a ripened banana, it will ripe quickly. It is the effect of ethylene gas. The other is abascus acid. Inhibitor of seed germination without being injurious seed to seed produced in the chloroplast signals dehydration. It signals uh, dehydration and is produced in the chloroplast. When the plant uh, when plant in, is water depressed, this hormone travels to uh, through the xylem and phloem and causes the leaves to close the stomata to reduce the water loss. So it helps when the plant is dehydrated. This hormone is released. Now the growth response is uh, the tropism. It is a growth movement away or toward the stimulus. Positive or negative tropism. It is the tropism is actually the directional movement towards the stimulus. Stimulus may be any light, water, chemical, gravity. Stimulus can be any Phototropism, kind of stimulus that plant grows towards or away from the light. Phototropism, the light stimulus. If the plant move toward, plant grows toward the stimulus of light, it is positive phototropism. And if the plant grows away from the stimulus of light, that will be negative phototropism. For example, the roots grow downwards that is away from the stimulus of light so it is negative phototropism and the stems move to uh, grow towards the stimulus of light it is positive phototropism geotropism unequal growth towards gravity they grow down in the ground in the direction of force of gravity. The plant responds to the gravity. The f best example are the roots that show f uh, positive geotropism and they grow downward towards gravity and the stem that grows 
upward is away from the gravity that is negative geotropism. Thigmotropism Uneven growth in response to touch, it is the response of plant to physical contact with the solid object. When the plant gets in uh, touch with any object, it turns its uh, direction and moves away from that object. The best example are the plants that grow on the grills or like that. They uh, change their direction when they get in contact with any solid object. Hydrotropism Directional growth in response to water. Turning of plants, roots towards or away from the water. Stimulus of light. The plants show <coughs> their growth away or towards the stimulus of light. And the example are the roots that grow downward towards uh, the stimulus of water. And the stem that is away, that is negative hydrotropism.